Hello there, this is Dango1867. Hope you're all feeling alright today because I am Tickety Boo. We've got the Luke De Jong Team of the Week player review with the Hunter card on one as well. Looking the four star week for only two star skill. He is a big lumbering centre half, the Dutchman who plays for PSV in the Dutch league, and his stats are very, very good. We'll go for the pros and cons there. Obviously, the pros very good attacking positional, good shooting, got good ball control. He's very, very good in the air, and he's got great striking with either feet. Uh, the cons for this guy, as you'd probably expect, he is not the quickest. Being a big six foot two lumbering Dutchman, he's not going to sweat away from people. So if that is your game, this is a player you need to avoid. On FIFA 16, I found that you don't need bags of pace for your strikers. Attacking positional play is all that you need, and this guy's got that in absolute spades. So he's definitely worth using. You can get a bit of pace around him. I've done a squad builder around him as well, which you can obviously check out as well and obviously like I say he's very very good he's, he's a solid Dutch centre forward easily the best Dutch striker in the Dutch league so if you're going to use him uh, in a Dutch squad builder or a hybrid he's very much worth to use he doesn't have the skill moves he doesn't have the pace but what he does is this sort of header in boom back of the net stuff he's got I think a 98 heading accuracy which is ridiculously ridiculously high and he's got great shooting with either feet as well. So get him tried out. He's going to be dirt cheap now because most people will avoid him due to that lack of pace. But he's got finishing like that. And with that, you don't really need the pace. I've been Dango. More FIFA content to come. Go check out De Jong. And I'll catch you all later.